Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today I have the new Element 115 palette from Adept Cosmetics in my stash. I was sent this in PR. Thank you so much to the Adept Cosmetics team for sending this palette my way. Let's take a closer look at Element 115, shall we? So when we open up this palette, you're going to see a beautiful 15 pan color story. You're going to see a couple shades here that are those rainbow shadows, similar to what um, their face palettes have contained this past year. And also on the bottom row, you're getting five buttery mattes. This is their new formula for 2023. Now this palette palette is going to drop, uh, become available for pre-order on Black Friday, which is November the 24th at 9 a.m. CST. It will retail for $65 and my affiliate code Steph will save you 10% off of your order. I would imagine that any other Black Friday sales are going to occur at the same time, same date as when this palette drops. They are also re-releasing the Sumerian Sunset or restocking Sumerian Sunset. So if you wanted that palette, definitely uh, make your list, check it twice, and set your alarm for uh, November the 24th to get your Adept Cosmetics goodies. Now, I'm going to be creating three looks with this Element 115 palette. I do want to point out that the packaging is still that same faux leather packaging. I love this type of packaging. And you have the cute little alien on here. And I just think it looks like a real beauty. If it is your first time here on my channel, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of you. My name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup, especially new indie makeup. I do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes makeup ranking videos get ready with me style of videos if that sounds like something you want to see and somewhere you want to be on pretty much a daily basis i do tend to upload quite a bit do me a favor click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time i do drop a new video and if you're a fan of adept cosmetics or you just want to see what this palette is all about how it performs please give this video a thumbs up before you go as usual i will have everything that i'm wearing linked and listed in the description box some of those links might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them i thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel let's dive on into this newness from adept cosmetics if you guys want to see the three looks i'm about to create keep on watching. Oh, and guys, I did forget to mention, since this palette is uh, going to be a pre-order, they are going to start shipping on or around December the 11th. So just wanted to make sure you have all of that information up front. Let's dive into this palette. I'm loving the matte shades. I think that we have some light, medium, and then of course that one deeper shade over here. So I guess since I'm wearing this purple tee, let's start down here. This purple shade is called They're Here. Okay, so I really think the aliens are here with me. I'm going to take this first shade on a Game Beauty E01 because do you guys see in the background like over here you see how the light is flickering the light's not flickering nothing is flickering maybe that little battery operated um christmas tree i have going on there but that doesn't even generate enough light to go up there so i don't know maybe it's just my monitor maybe when you're watching this you're not going to notice any flickering but me looking at my monitor, my viewfinder, which is a, what, 32 inch TV that I have off to the side, it looks like there's flickering going on behind me. So you know what, aliens, come on down. Maybe you can help me with this look. Uh, very appropriate that they would be here because I'm trying this palette out. So basically I'm just stamping the shade because I'm going to go in with the darker purple right now. And it's stamping just fine. Very easy to work with. Now in a Game Beauty E07, I'm going into the dark with the darkest shade that is in this palette. It's called Specimen. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner as well as into the crease. Oh, and that's more blue. I was thinking it had more purple. That's okay. They're nice complements of one another. 
Okay, so that is a good blend from this beautiful blue shadow. Ooh, I love it. So much fun. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm not the expert at swatching these like rainbow shades. Um, I don't get them to translate that pretty on my lid. And I've tried them with the Ketracel White Palette. Did not work for me. So I think if I use any of them, I don't even know if I should swirl because then that makes it a totally different color. But, um, and I know people say take them, you know, row by row, but I don't know. To me, it just, it, it doesn't work. So I'll let you know when I use those shades. I don't think I'm going to use them right now. I think what I want to do is go in with this shade and then also with this shade. So I'm going to start first with, yeah, with this one. This one is called S4 Test Sight. And I'm using my damp Morphe M124. For Adept Cosmetics shimmer shadows, they do recommend using a glitter primer. I'm just not using it because I'm going to be removing this look right now. So if I was doing like a get ready with me video where I'm leaving, going out, running errands, I would most definitely be using my glitter primer. But since I'm going to have to take this look off in about 15 minutes, I, I don't need it to have that staying power. It is so pretty, so pretty. Same brush, now I'm going in with the shade UAP. So we're using the first and last shimmer shadows in the top row. Stunning, just a little bit of fallout. That's not bad, not bad at all. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this matte shade over here. Guys, I'm not, <laughs> Not an expert on aliens, outer space, I know E.T. Um, that's about it. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm not a Star Trek person. Um, William Shatner was on Star Trek. Uh, the guy with the bald head, I don't remember. But I am not a Trekkie. I know Adept Cosmetics loves their Star Trek. And the unknown and that's cool i get it it's just not i mean i wouldn't say it doesn't interest me it's just not something like i read about or anything like that so some of these references whew, they go over my head okay now for the inner corner i think i will try to take like an individual shadow here and i think i'll try this shade so this one in the middle is called uh, tick tack and I'm gonna do the shade right there and then I'm gonna spray the brush I'm taking this on a game beauty e09 Wow very very cool I'm kind of tempted to place a little bit like using my pinky in the center and actually you know what I'm gonna use this brush there we go. And it's just that that little row at the bottom of that shade. Just something a little extra. You know, it's kind of hard to see it because of the lights, but I can see it here. Okay, let me go take care of the finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. Okay, guys, so here's the completed look number one. A little Rare Beauty liquid eyeliner on the top lash line. I'm using my latest mascara pickup from LA Girl, and this is their Jet Setter Mascara. And for the lower waterline, a NYX Epic Wear eyeliner in the shade saw a ghost pepper. I think that fits in perfectly with this palette. What do you guys think of the look? I love this. I love purple, green, and blue together. I think they're just, you can't go wrong with mixing those three colors together. And I think the Adept Cosmetics formula is spot on in this palette. Let's move over to the left eye and we'll start working on look number two. So for look number two, I think I'm going to go into the shade and then work my way into this shade. So Commander of and then Conspiracy. And I'm using a BK A502. Did I tell you guys which eyeshadow primer I was wearing? I feel like I kind of skipped over that. I'm using the one from Profusion. It's in the shade Neutral. And of course, it'll be linked in the description box. I will also have my Adept Cosmetics playlist linked in a pinned comment. So you guys can go check out some other 
Adept Cosmetics uh, reviews, tutorials, looks that I've done over my time here on YouTube. What was your first Adept Cosmetics palette? Mine was the Heather Austin palette, which I bought last year. And actually, if you didn't know, which I'm sure most of you do, because I know a lot of you love Adept, but they re-released her palette this year with the new matte formula that they have. Now on that same brush, I'm going into the shade Conspiracy. Now on a refer 13, I'm gonna go into this shade and I'm gonna use this. We'll see how much it can deepen up this outer corner. I didn't wanna use the one I used over here. So I can, you know, try as many as I can. Next, I'm gonna go into this beautiful blue shimmer. This one is called UFO. I'm gonna apply this all over the lid with a damp refer 21. It is so pretty and sparkly. So much fun. Now with my finger, I'm going to pick up some of this shade. This one is called uh, Gimbal Video. Beautiful contrast. I think we'll definitely do that one for the inner corner. Taking Conspiracy, which is the second matte shade that I used, on a refer 26, and this is what's going to be for our lower lash line. Same brush, taking Gimbal Video right in here in the inner corner. Hey guys, I'm going to take care of the finishing touches off camera and I will be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number two, a beautiful blue and gold look, same everything. Also a, a NYX Epic Wear liner in the lower waterline. This one though is in the shade Blue Trip. I love both of these looks. I'm going to go take some pictures. I'll be back with one less look and then we'll start creating the third and final look with Element 115 from Adept Cosmetics. All right, let's start working on the third and final look. What do we want to do? I've used all five of the matte shades already. I kind of want to pack the shade all over the lid and just to deepen it up and blend it into the crease. So I think that's what I'm going to do. This shade is called Specimen. I do want to point out that these uh, pans are all magnetic and you can pop them out. I'm using the Sigma E25. Now I'm just using a Sigma E36 just to blend a little bit better right here in the crease. Okay, I think we have to go in with the shade Weather Balloon. That is too funny. I love that Adept named this Weather Balloon. So I'm going to start first with this one. Uh, I think I'll do this. I think I'll do this on the outer half and then maybe we can go in with the shade over here for the inner half. Using my damp refer 21, yeah. This is a beautiful shade and it looks really nice over this dark base. Now I'm taking the shade Reverse Engineer, same brush, I just flipped it around and sprayed it. Now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go back with this shade and I'm using a BK210. Now for the inner corner, I think I'm going to try and get this little pink shade right here in this rainbow shade called Classified. Same brush and I did spray it. Wow. Ooh. Okay guys, I am going to finish this look up off camera and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number three. Okay guys, so here's the completed look number three. Same everything with the exception of the lower waterline. I went in with this LA Girl Neon Shockwave lip liner in the shade Blaze. I didn't get to use every single shimmer shadow, but I did get to use all five matte shades. And I think I did pretty good with this palette. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video, give you guys my final thoughts on the Element 115 palette from Adept Cosmetics.
Okay, let's talk about Element 115. Packaging on point, but Adept always gives us great packaging. The faux leather, I love it. The little alien and then the embossing up here with Element 115. Open it up, you get a full-size mirror and then you have your 15 different shadows. A row of all mattes at the bottom. I love the mattes. They are very complementary to the 10 beautiful duo multi-chrome shimmer shadows that are in this palette. You guys know Adept Cosmetics has an amazing shimmer formula. This is no exception. Most of the shades are pretty smooth. Like there's not a heavy amount of texture or anything like that. So I mean definitely use your glitter primer. That is what Adept Cosmetics recommends with all of their shimmer formula. But I mean I was able to achieve good looks and I was just able to spray the brush. So if you're in a hurry just spray your brush. But if you have a little extra time I would definitely recommend the glitter primer. I love everything. Uh, again, these are the two like rainbow shades that they have in some of their highlighter palettes. I am not, I don't want to say I'm not a fan. I'm just not the person to demo and swatch those shades the best. <laughs> I don't, I'm unfamiliar with these. And so I would just use like a little stripe here and there. You of course could just swirl around and apply it to the lid. You do whatever you want when you get this palette home. But if you are thinking of picking up this palette, excuse the airplane that is passing by, you can buy your very own Element 115 palette on uh, November the 24th at 9 a.m. CST. My affiliate code Steph will save you 10% off of your order. This palette is going to retail for $65. It is going to be a pre-order and palettes will start shipping on or around December the 11th. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Are you going to be finding Element 115 in your stash under the Christmas tree this holiday season? Let me know which look was your favorite. Team 1, 2, 3, none all. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen any aliens behind me while I've been filming. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. Y'all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye!